I finally watched Game of Thrones. Yes, I'm one of those few people who haven't watched Game of Thrones from the get-go, and I finally finished watching the first six seasons of the show, and I know all you people are going to say in the comments, What? You haven't seen Game of Thrones until now? What? What? Where have you been? Do you have cable, sir? Sir, do you even watch TV? Yes, actually I do watch TV, but I don't have HBO on cable. I don't have HBO. Actually, the way I watched Game of Thrones was that I asked my cousin, because I know he he's a big Game of Thrones fanatic and he wanted me to watch the show. So he So he gave me his HBO Go account. So I downloaded the HBO Go app. So I watched from season one all the way up to season six of Game of Thrones. And oh my god, this show is amazing. I can't believe I missed out a lot on the show from 2011. This show is is, is incredible. The story the storytelling is, is perfect. The characters are perfect. The setting is perfect. The, the dialogue is perfect. This show is perfect. This is probably has to be. So far, I'm not sure yet. I might have to think about this. My favorite TV show of all time. Game of Thrones is phenomenal. This show is phenomenal. This might have to be my favorite TV show. I'm not sure yet. I might have to think about that. But this has but this show is freaking great. And this show is definitely not for kids. I mean, of course it's not. It's rated TVMA, mature audience. So there's a lot of cursing, a lot of blood, a lot of fighting, a baby blood. I mean, this show has a lot of killing and stuff too, a lot of swearing. And there is some sex in the show. And I mean some there is some sex. I mean so I mean there's some sex. There is some sex in this show. I'm not gonna say it's a lot, but it's some. It's definitely some sex in this show. It's a lot of sex in this show. Hey, let's talk about some of the characters in the show. Tyrion Lannister. One of my favorite characters in the show. I love Tyrion Lannister. He is so funny. I love Peter Dinklage as his character. I mean, this dude was just born for this role. I mean, of course, he's, both of them are freaking midgets. Peter Dinklage and Tyrion Lannister. Both of them are midgets. Sorry that if that's an incorrect word for you guys. It's either that or dwarves. But anyways... Tyrion Lannister is funny, the only good Lannister in the show, the only good Lannister in the show, and Cersei Lannister, I freaking hate that B, I hate that B, I hate that B so freaking much, I hate her, I mean, she just a, she just an example of a B I T C H, and that season 5 finale with her, that shame scene, justice was served. Justice was sure served. She got what she deserved in that scene. Jamie Lannister, who I do like as a character. Jamie Lannister is cool, I will admit. While him and his sister, Cersei Lannister, let's just say that their siblings would benefit. Let's just say with both of them, their siblings would benefit. But even on the first episode, if you haven't watched the show yet, I will spoil it for you, but... But at the end of the first episode of season one, where I just saw the scene with them, yeah, you pretty much get get it. What I'm, get what I'm trying to say? But ew, oh my, ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh, that was oh, oh, disgusting, incestuous. That scene was just in. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that scene. Also. Probably one of the best characters of all time in on television, Khaleesi, played by the great and beautiful Amelia Clark. Khaleesi is a boss ass B. I love Khaleesi. She was a great character, and her dragons, even on the end of even at the season four finale, they were so cute and tiny. But then at the later season, they and became so freaking friendly. So yeah, Khaleesi. Probably it's one of the most, probably one of the most best characters on television. I love Khaleesi. She's one of the most interesting parts of the show. She is definitely a queen. She is queen. She is queen. Also, even though, also, even though that this guy is no longer on the show anymore, Ned Stark 
Ned Stark is season one, but the BA. I love Ned Stark. He was starting to become my favorite character in season one. And my cousin was telling me that don't get too attached to Ned Stark so quickly. Well, so I'm just like, why? Ned Stark is a cool guy. So what's going to happen to him? Oh. Oh. I was very heartbroken that this guy got killed off. Very early on the show, what was he? Soon as he got killed off on the show, I'm like, dang, they killed off Ned Stark. Oh my god, oh my god, that scene was was I wasn't expecting that. Now, also we do have the Stark sisters, the lovely and beautiful Sansa Stark, played by the woman of my dreams, Sophie Turner. Sansa Stark, at first she started to get on my nerve. Watch, I'm just like, I, she started off like this. Oh my god, this bratty little teenager. And then, during the later season, she started to become more mature. And started to become more of a bear to character. I'm like, okay, I love Sansa now. She start, Sansa started to get a little bit better. And since she, since she got a season, raped in season 5, that really changed... Her character a lot in the show, and that scene alone was I wasn't expecting that either. And also Arya Stark, I feel like Arya Stark is a character that been has been through and seen some crap in the show. She's been through a lot. She's she's had the hardest time in the show. I mean Arya Stark has been through a lot in the show. She's been through a lot in the show. I feel bad for Arya really. I mean, Arya has been through some crap. She has. She really has. And let's not forget probably one of the most iconic characters in the show, Jon Snow. The bastard. Jon Snow the bastard. The bastard Stark. And Jon Snow knows nothing. He's no He knows nothing. Jon Snow, I do love Kit Harington as a character. Jon Snow, I feel like he's really an underdog. Jon Snow is an underdog, how people kept calling him a bastard Stark, the bastard Stark son. But, uh, towards the end, at the season 6 finale, they call him the King of the North. So he really, so, Jon Snow is really an underdog. I love his character development in this show. And I can't wait to see more of Jon Snow in season 7 and season 8. To see how, to see how much of a character, if much of a person has, he has grown in this show. Now let me talk about the two pieces of crap that I hate on the show. Joffrey! I hate this little, I hate this little prick. I hate this little prick in the first few seasons that he was in. Joffrey, he just looked like the type of guy I just wanted to just punch him in the face. Like he just seems like annoying, bratty, spoiled, snot-nosed brat teenage boy that I know in high school. Well, like he feel like he's one of those little wrench those rich, those really rich, pompous teenage boys, like those richy rich kids, who live in like, like those big mansions, whose parents have a lot of money. He he seems like one of those those type of kids, those type of teenage boys, and he uh Every time I, I see him in the show, I just wanted to punch him in the face. He he his face his face looks very punchable, and good thing justice was served again. Justice was served again when he got killed. And also, another piece of crap that I hate on the show, Ramsey freaking Bolton. This ugly look looking mother... Mofo. Excuse me. This ugly looking mofo I hate on the show, Ramsey Bolton. I mean, he seems like the person I want to stay away from. I need to stay away from this guy. I don't... Joffrey is... is I'm not scared of Joffrey. Joffrey is the type of guy I would just like... Punch him in the face. But Ramsey, oh heck no, I need to stay away from him. Because the things that he did on the show, the things that he did, it made me want to stay as far away from him. I don't want to be, like, this close to him. I don't want to be, uh, like, six feet away from him. I just needed to get the heck away from him. I just need to get away from that guy. Because, uh, but he knows, I mean, this guy knows, he's, he's very smart, but... This guy, he can, like, easily, like, kill you. He can. The stuff that he did in the show, uh, yeah, I need to stay away from him. But, again, justice was again served.
and the White Walkers. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be near those people either. Now, let's talk about my favorite seasons. Season 1 was a very, very great start. I love Season 1. Season 1 was very strong. And for first season, it started out pretty darn good. And had a bittersweet ending finale with Nestor being killed off and Daenerys having her dragon babies. That was awesome. Season 2 was my least favorite season. There were some episodes that I wasn't really all that invested in. But still, I still love the characters in the show. I love the, the introduction to Marjorie and the grandmother in the show. They're, those two are very, very great characters. I love Marjorie and the grandmother. Season 2, however, is okay. I, I, it's okay. It's good. It, I will say it, it's good. All the seasons are good. But Season 2, it has to be my least favorite. Season 3 was... Off the chart. I love season three. Season three was great. The Red Wedding. Just, just watch that episode. Watch that episode. The red, the red wedding scene. I was, I wasn't expecting that. Season four. Again, off the chart. Love season four. It was a sh this, is, you could tell the show was just getting better and better and better and better and better. And season five. Season five was. The Shiznit. Season 5 was awesome. And season season 6 so far is my favorite season. Season. It has one of my favorite episodes in the show. The Battle of the Bastards. The Battle of the Bastards has to be one of my favorite episodes of all time in the show. I mean, this show, this is storytelling. It's genius. This storytelling is just awesome. The show... If guys, if you don't have, if you have HBO, please watch the show. All the episodes are on HBO Go on the website HBO Go. If you don't really have time to watch it on cable, just watch it on your phone or computer or tablet or whatever, whatever mobile device you have. Just watch it on there. This sh you, this show will change your life. This show will change your life. It it changed mine, and I love in the show. And I'm sort of pissed that we gotta wait until the summer until season seven comes out. Yay, got to wait till the freaking summer. Overall, guys, Game of Thrones, fantastic show, fantastic characters, fantastic everything, fantastic episodes. And, guys, if you have watched Game of Thrones, let me know what you think of the show in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you are new to my channel and you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.